In the basement room of a kebab shop in East London, students of the London School of Sharia have gathered to talk to me about how Islamic law operates in the UK today. A recent study by think tank Civitas concluded there are around 85 Sharia courts currently operating in Britain. Anjem Chowdhury sits in judgment at one of them. We are a service uh, free of charge to the Muslim community as a reference point for Islamic matters in marriage, in divorce, in partnership and company disputes, for inheritance matters, for people who want to become Muslim, and general advice and the rulings. If uh, somebody lost a finger, uh, uh, because you know he was he was uh, he was hit by somebody unnecessarily, then he deserves the equivalent of ten camels and uh, whatever that may be in sterling. Chowdhury wants to establish an Islamic state in Britain, an institute fully fledged Sharia law throughout. That would mean cutting off people's hands for stealing and stoning women for adultery. But in the absence of a state to support that, for now he can only judge civil matters. These men study under Chowdhury at the London School of Sharia, and they've all had dealings with his court. Saladin, formerly known as Richard, has been a Muslim for just five weeks. Chowdhury provided him with a certificate of conversion. I would discuss with Anjem and various other brothers what, how I came about becoming a Muslim, and why I'm a Muslim, and what it is that I believe. Um, and then I'd do your shahada to confirm that, you know, that is what you believe. If Saladin decides he no longer wishes to be part of the faith, the penalty under full Sharia law is death. This man reconciled with his wife in a Sharia court. He says it's a more selfless system of decision making. We refer to Almighty Allah in all of our rights, and obviously um, we go there not not being biased to Muslim, but rather wanting to follow the Sharia, and obviously whatever, even if it's in my favour, in favour of my wife. We submit to that. Sharia law has been operating here in parallel to the British legal system since 1982. But think tanks worry about coercion when it comes to women submitting to judgment in Islamic courts. There are many women working on the front line of um, uh, domestic violence issues, honor related violence, people who run shelters who would attest to the fact that many people that they see do not go to these courts voluntarily and that they're forced by either the men in their family or in their community and this is a very very serious issue and needs to be addressed. That's a real fear in Britain where so-called honour killings are becoming more common. Recently police warned a married woman that her life could be in danger after her boyfriend was near fatally attacked with bricks and acid. She's now in hiding. This is London's biggest mosque, where thousands of British Muslims worship every week. Studies show only the most radical of them want Sharia law introduced fully into the UK. But that hasn't stopped the Muslim Arbitration Tribunal promising to triple the number of Sharia courts operating in Britain by the end of the year. Laura Emmett, RT, London.